This is the uh, hangar where I do all of my car projects. This is a 73 Carmen Ghia convertible. And there's the motor. <laughs> this is an 82 DeLorean. I'm John Talley, a European auto technician. When I first moved out here, they really needed people to work on Volkswagens. And it's kept me really, really busy for 40 years. <laughs> so this is how I spend some of my days. <laughs> I moved out here in 78. We're just really, really lucky that out here we've got this heaven right outside of town. There's not much that I suspect John Talley can't do. My name is Jim Cisneros. I'm the park superintendent for San Angelo State Park. I've only been here a couple of years, but from what I understand, John's been here from the very beginning. A lot of the places are growing up and getting uh, urbanized. I enjoy being out here all by myself, but I'm always amazed how many people in town don't know this piece of heaven is right here? We're off the beaten path in Texas. I think we're the biggest city that doesn't have an interstate running through it. We get some of the hills from the hill country. We get some of the desert stuff from the Chihuahuan Desert Plateau. You're out here and you feel like you're in the wilderness, but we're literally a few miles from town. In five or 10 minutes, they can be here and enjoy it. They're riding a bicycle or boating or hiking or whatever. Pretty much just wake up each day and decide if I'm gonna go out and ride the bike or work on somebody's car or I'm gonna get on a tractor and mow the trails. I take care of the trails at the San Angelo State Park. This is the area that we call Littlefoot Draw because some, I call it a dinosaur, came walking through here at some point in time and left these footprints preserved in this creek bed. That's pretty amazing right there. These have been here for many, 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 many years before man was even considered. This is a place where you can just stop and think. When you see them along this ridge over here, it's kind of like getting a picture of the Old West. <laughs> People from out of town come to see the bison and our Longhorn. Now, this is part of the official Texas state herd. This is one of my favorite things to come out here and I really feel like I'm in another time sequence. I think it's the variety of activities that you can do out here. Pretty close to 8,000 acres. And I tell my volunteers this all the time, I can't run this park without you tractors and the lawnmowers. Sometimes they'd break down in the middle of the park and I'd go out and get them running again. And do minor repairs on the Coke machines. And now we have a new firewood vending machine. So I keep all of that going. He's like a Renaissance man. Sometimes it's helping us diagnose a mechanical problem. Sometimes mowing the trails. Um, but when I first got here, John invited me to one of his gigs, and I was like, you're a musician? And that's when I really knew that John can probably do just about anything. He was playing, you know, tickling the keys on the piano. I really enjoyed it. And then he started singing, and I was like, oh my gosh, he can sing too. pianos, he can play pianos, he can 
uh, fixed cars, he goes kayaking, he goes biking, trail maintenance. He's very multifaceted and we all feel like he's a great human being. In a roundabout way, it was music that brought me here. In 1990, Angelo State University hired me to work in a musical with them called Pump Boys and Dinettes. I went 57, Pump Boys and Dinettes. Played piano, accordion, I had to sing for two hours every night. I had to learn how to tap dance in cowboy boots. So I foresaw all of this fixing to happen, and I said, I better get in shape. So I went down and bought a mountain bike. Then I met some of the local bike club people. We all rode the south end of the park, and we worked deals with the ranchers who had some of this other area, and they let us ride through their pastures as long as we kept the gates closed. There were a lot of things to see at the grand opening of San Angelo State Park. Texas Parks and Wildlife worked a deal with the Corps of Engineers and took over this land. A community and a great group of people put together a wonderful new state park. And they allowed us to keep riding and create new trails. It has an extensive trail system for both equestrians and mountain bikers, and that will set it off from all other state parks. Five miles here and five miles there, we finally have 50 or 60 miles, which is a lot. Probably I was in on making 25 to 30 miles. And one of those is named after me also. It's called the Tally Valley. <laughs> we try to keep at least a two foot section clear because we do have a rattlesnake or two out here. Usually the only people that worry about the snakes are the second guys in line. <laughs> For mowing, we've got a four-foot shredder, and that's perfect for 99% of the trail. There's a few areas that I can't get to on a tractor, and there we'll use weed eaters, rakes and hose and stuff. This kind of work is a little tame, and it's amazing how much you can knock out. After it's rain, ever so often, the Longhorn have torn up the trails. They leave deep tracks, which really jar you on a mountain bike. The trick that we've come up with was a couple of front-end loader wheels and tires. The front one digs into the trail, and the rear one kind of follows it and smooths it up. And that's my dragging tool, or dragging tool. <laughs> and we get countless compliments on how well they're maintained. And of course, that's all due to our volunteers. Can't ever keep up with him on a bicycle, but, <laughs> but he is a very avid user. If you wanted to see the whole park, mountain bike is a really good way to do it. I think my favorite part about it is the solitude. It's kind of a zen deal to me to just be on the bicycle and get your heart rate up to a certain level and just keep going, but that puts your mind in a really nice place. Perfect for creating new ideas. And a lot of times when I'm out here riding along, I'll be listening to jazz or classical or whatever. It's quite entertaining to be going over some of these little ridges and stuff, listening to Debussy. That's just another bit of heaven. I really
really enjoyed the entire park. That's my church. Maybe someday you'll find my ashes out here somewhere. <laughs> He is really, truly a resource. He's a friend. Uh, he's someone that we count on in more ways than one. I, I think John Talley's going to be out here for many years to come. <laughs> as long as I'm playing music and riding my mountain bike, I'm 19. I don't plan on quitting anytime soon.